Good morning. Today we're going to learn about the force of tension. Hey guys. Hey Bob. Uh, hi Bob. Flippin' physics. The symbol for the tension force or the force of tension is a capital F sub T or sometimes just capital T. Sometimes people call it just tension and they use just a capital T. I prefer to call it the force of tension and use a capital F sub T. There are two reasons for that. One, to remind us that it's a force, and two, because capital T actually stands for period, which we haven't learned about yet. The best way to understand the force of tension is to watch a demonstration. Here are two of my nephews, Graham and Landon, pulling on either end of a rope. There is a force of tension on both ends of the rope that is equal in magnitude and opposite in direction. You can see that the tension force is the force transmitted through a rope, cable, string, or wire pulled taut by forces acting on both ends. The force of tension can be caused by a rope, a cable, a wire, a string, a chain, or even dental floss. Basically, any object that will go slack if you don't pull it taut will cause a tension force. All forces are vectors. Therefore, the force of tension class has both magnitude and direction. Let's start with the direction. Watch what happens to the direction of the tension forces as Landon moves. Billy, please describe the direction of the tension forces. It looks like the tension force is always pointed toward the other kid. That's correct. The tension force is a pull, is directed along the rope, and is in opposite directions on opposite ends of the rope. Notice also that the magnitude of the tension forces on both ends of the rope is the same. Because the magnitude of the tension force is the same on both ends, we don't identify them separately. We call it just the tension force of the rope. Watch what happens when my daughter Geneve also pulls on the rope. Grabbing and pulling on the rope makes it so there are two different forces of tension. Tension force one in the rope segment on the left and tension force two in the rope segment on the right. All the rules still apply. The force of tension is a pull and is directed along the rope in equal magnitudes on opposite ends of the rope. Notice that tension force one in the left rope segment does not necessarily have the same magnitude as tension force two in the rope segment on the right. Mr. P, yes, Bobby, what is your question? Going back to just two kids, what happens to the tension force if they stop pulling on the rope? That is a good question. Let's watch. The tension force goes to zero if they are not pulling on the rope, because the force of tension is always a pull and never a push. Thank you very much for learning with me today. I enjoyed learning with you. You guys are doing excellent, thank you. Good job, Brian. Yeah, you're doing an excellent job. You guys are showing the concept of tension. I don't know if you realize that. Well, that's you. The tape is there so that I can motion track and, and know exactly where the rope is. So pull, 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 and right. Nope, not covering the right there. Thank you. Yay. Put it on. Okay, okay, hug me. <laughs> Thank you guys.